Hi, I'm Sydney Allen, and this is David Bernard Hauck. Bernard isn't actually part of his name, he just thinks it sounds charming. Welcome to Actors Nightmare. The people you're about to see are real people with real stories. They are not actors. Well, they're actors, but they're not acting. Confused? Good. What was your first role? Hobie in the best Christmas pageant ever. It was supposed to be a boy, but they didn't have enough boys, <laughs> so it was me. It, it was the girl. I did get like best, most dedicated or something for that for that show. My first role, uh, I was I played Father Jack in Dancing at Lunasa. First part was a. I, I guess it was a. I guess you call an extra. I don't know if you call an extra if you're on stage, but just uh, uh, it was a play called Rhinoceros by Eugene Ionesco. You know. Mm -hmm. Was the character turned into a girl, or were you playing a boy? I was turned. It was turned into a girl. It was a really minor role, but I had so much fun. Uh, I had to play a very old, very sick man who is. It's kind of become a trend uh, doing college theater. I guess as soon as you can grow a beard. You're the old guy. I played uh, a um, a, uh, a customer in a old diner, and uh, I was on my laptop, and then someone shouted "rhinoceros," and everybody freaked out, and and uh, I ended up with, with my shirt off, and that was a my big break. I had no idea what I was doing, like at all, and everyone else seemed so <laughs> experienced, and I was just in the corner, frightened, just. I come on now I just it was it was a trip and I probably learned more from my failures in that play than any of my success what is your favorite role um actually I, I think I have two I will tell you both um my uh I think my second favorite role was when I played the carrier uh, played the character uh Grimio and um, Taming of the Shrew. Grimio is a old, perverted Italian guy. It's a Shakespeare play. But... It was a production at my school, and it's called Toys Are Alive. And I seriously looked like a transvestite Barbie. My name was Pretty Hair Melinda. I had bright pink hair. I was wearing a bright pink wig, and I looked like a transvestite, and it was great. I have a, I'm carrying a cane, and um, I get into such a orgasmic state, I begin to um, facilitate uh, masturbating the cane. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I know, your eyes just like... Well, as long as, as, if, as, long as it was <laughs> an iambic pentameter. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Yeah, it was all in I Epic so it was all in like a rhythm of well, no, 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 so. five beats. Yes. Like fast loop. Fast yeah. loop. That's it. Ba, 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 ba. <laughs> um, what was your favorite role that you played? My favorite role, I think, would have to be uh, Will Masters in in Bus Stop. It uh, I did it pretty recently. I it was just a great experience as a show altogether and I really it sounds silly but I really like just having a gun favorite of all time was a character I did in Plaza Suite um, uh, it's a, a, it was a character his name was a uh, Roy Hubley but uh, because it was directed by students <laughs> college students we decided no it, it can't just be regular Roy Hubley, we changed it to Roy Hubley and we made the uh, character Jewish. So I was a <laughs> dreaded Jewish father <laughs> with a pale as snow daughter and I had to do a Jewish voice. I can't do it right now. Oh, we were, go we were going to <laughs> yeah, right, I'll, I'll try, I'll try. Okay, um, if I can remember some of the lines. Um, uh, okay, uh, remember the, I remember the last time I cried. Oh, yes. I sat there by the pillow and laid there in the dark crying because today I was losing my little girl. 
Some stranger was coming and taking my little Mimsy away from me. Imagine what's gonna go on tonight. So that's my... That's my Jewish voice. Uh, I'm not gonna be very attractive with this wig.